Okay, we're going to take a look at a John Deere Model E Magneto. So these are fairly simple. I'm doing a three horse E restoration to run, restore to run job and uh, got a couple of mags here to see which one's the best one to put on it. This is the Model E three horse with the bigger gear. I don't know if you can tell the difference there. And then this is for, we think, a one and a half. The magnetos are the same. Gears are different. So off the camera, I just uh, took a uh, oh, a Pitman arm puller and pulled the gears off so we don't have to, I don't have to bore you with that. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into one of them here. This one is completely... Not completely. It will turn, but it squalls and squawks, and I'm afraid something's going to break in there. But I need this gear, so just going to go ahead and start with this one. Set that one over out of the way here. Get it back over here. And let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you what's in here. There's, these things are very simple. Um, there'll be an oil slinger felt on here. This has kind of an open hole here that inside the crankcase oil will eventually make its way into that hole. This is just the shield for it or the cover. Then we've got a little woodruff key in here that should pull out. A little half moon woodruff. Set him over there. Then we'll turn around here, and there's an oiler here. This one needs a little bit of attention. It's got a, got a bent lid on it there. Let me see what this one looks like. That's got a good one. Yeah. Hmm. That's just a little bit different on the back cover. We'll have to see. It's got a little taller lip on it here. This one doesn't. See what's going on there. Maybe they are different. I don't know. We're going to look and see. So anyway, let's pull these screws out. Purpose of the video here is just to show you really how simple these are inside. Um, not a whole lot to them. They're very simple. They seem to always work. Um, they need clean from time to time. And uh, there's a couple of brushes in here. This is a boss for the ground brush. And that's the ground brush right there. It makes contact with the, the housing and grounds the mag. This is a slip ring. And then the positive brush is here. Let's get it loose here. And what you want to do is make sure you've got continuity between this brush and this terminal. Before I go back together, I'll check that. Everything's got to be cleaned up, though. Now, with that brush out, this should pull out. Should pull out. I'll get the magnets aligned where they're not fighting me. Here's the, what I'm going to call the armature. It's got the windings on here nicely wrapped up in here, and I'm not going to get this wet or get solvent on here, but I am going to clean the rest of the magneto up. Now, just basically, this one turned fine. I, I wanted to go in here and clean the slip ring, both, both contact surfaces, and just clean the housing up, lube it up good, and put it back together and see if it works. Let's set that over there out of the way. This is simply just a bare housing with the magnets, the magnet poles here. And I'm not going to take this off. I'm going to leave this all together. The base seems to be good, so I'm going to use it. And we're going to clean it up, put it back together, and see if it works. I'll show you how to test it. So let me get that cleaned up. I'll be back. Okay, I've got the mags apart and cleaned up, cleaned what I could over in the ultrasonic cleaner. <clears throat> and uh, 
got things kind of checked out here. Um, on the three horse mag, the one that came off the three horse engine here I'm working on, it's in pretty bad shape. It's the one that did not want to turn. Now the coils, the coil, is pretty rough on it. Looks pretty bad. This rotor was stuck here on the rotor surface itself and it's stuck, it sticks in the housing. And if I get it pushed in there just right, it won't go all the way and then it still, it does not want to turn because the armature is hitting the magnets in here. And part of what goes on with these magnetos, here's a great example. This is the end cap. Goes on like this. Doesn't want to fit real well because it's all cracked. Matter of fact, it's stuck. There it is. <clears throat> it's all cracked up. And this stuff, when this stuff rots or deteriorates, it'll actually decompose from the inside out. And you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's lots of cracking all around here. If I turn it over here, this is all cracked. This is cracked right through here. All this is cracked and it's all beginning to decompose and it actually swells up. So what I'm thinking happened is this, I see a crack right here. You probably can't see it, but this, this housing is beginning to crack. I don't know if it's pot metal, magnesium, or something. I don't know. I think it's pot metal of some kind. <clears throat> anyway, I think what's happening is it's, it's deteriorating from the inside out. And it's actually pushed in on this part in here. So I think that's why it locked up. And also on this armature, I don't know if the camera can show it or not, but where this slip ring runs, that's probably... 20 thousandths deep there. That's really got a lot of wear on it. So that's wore out pretty good. The housing's pretty well junk. But over here on the other one now, this is a different story. Look at this coil. This coil looks really good. Nice and clean. I didn't. I haven't cleaned that. That's as clean as it was. I, I polished up the uh, the bearing surfaces a little bit and cleaned out the oil hole. Now let me show you this. This is an oil hole here, and it actually it's drilled clear in here and there. And I think it must take oil from inside the crankcase and work its way to the to the bearing. But there is a an oil hole there too, right here. So Maybe that's excess oil that gets dumped back off in the crankcase, but I don't know. Anyway, I had to run a drill bit through here because it appeared that there was a piece of felt in there. And that would make sense if there was a little piece of felt in there, maybe to kind of slow the flow. I uh, don't know. I looked in the on the web and in my parts books, and I don't see any felt listed for the inside of this shaft, so I'm going to leave it out. And let's see, this housing is good. The brush is good. If you can see that brush, it moves in and out. It's on springs, on a spring, where this housing, the brush was all messed up. And uh, <clears throat> it didn't, I had to kind of pull it out of there, and it's worn really bad. There's a little brass bushing in there where this, where this brush runs, the brass bushing is worn almost clear through on one side, so that's another reason to junk that part. And on this one, this is the good one, if I take and put the armature back in, like so, put the end cap on it, the oiler up like that, it fits just fine. 
and it turns easy, and I don't hear it rubbing inside. I tried this armature in that housing, the one I think is swelled up, and it rubbed in there too. So this is fine. I don't hear it touching. We're going to go with this assembly here. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this back together. I'm going to lube it. Uh, this slip ring looks great. Um, I cleaned that up real good. No deep grooves. Both sides look good. I'm going to electrically test it for continuity and test the brush for continuity. I got a brush there and a brush here, so I got a couple of good brushes, hopefully, and put it back together. And I'll show you how uh, I test it. So uh, let me get back with you here in a minute. Okay, I got the meter out here. We're going to do a little testing. I just want continuity here on this brush, and I've got it. It's fine. So that is good. Here's this other one. I think it's dirty. Let me check it. Yeah, it's okay too. <clears throat> yeah, here's the ground brush. I think it just needs to go from the housing to here. That's good. I like that. Here's the slip ring. Now what we're going to see here, let me turn the buzzer off. <clears throat> what we're going to see here is the ohms, the resistance through the coil between this ring and this ring. And it's 5.5, 5.6. Both of them together is a dead short. But between the two, 5.6, that's to the ground, that's to the ground, let's see, is that right? Yeah, five and a half, five and a half ohms. Yeah, let me test that again. From the inner slip ring to the shaft, is five and a half ohms from the outer slip ring to the shaft is 0.2 which is almost a dead short so this slip ring on the outside is connected to the shaft which is the ground grounded to the it'll be grounded to the engine and also be grounded to the engine through this bus or brush so I think everything looks to be okay good enough I'm gonna put it together and test it so before I put it together, I want to make sure that this hasn't picked up any metal inside on those magnets. I think it's fine. I'll take a little oil, put on the shaft here, shove it through. And take a little oil on this end of the shaft, put it in there with the oiler up. Four of the screws here are in real good shape. I'm going to use those. This end bell's in good shape. It's not cracked up like the other one. Just lightly snug those because the material we're working with here is pretty fragile. Oh, that feels great. Silent. Very good. Oh, tell you what, I forgot to shim. Let me go put this back in. I'll be right back. That little shim, I want to go in on this side. Right in there like that. Now it wasn't on this one. It was on the other mag. This one has a little end play that I want to take up. That little shim doesn't take it all up, but I think it's going to be better than it was. And when 
that shim is in there, it just takes out a little end play and maybe a little bit easier on the brush, the spring little brush here on this end, but being spring loaded, the brush can move in and out, follow the movement of the rotor, so I'm not real concerned about that. So back together for the second time here. Very good, still turns, still turns great. And let me get, I'm going to use this one, let's see, which one? This one looks better. I'm going to put it in there. It's nice and clean. I took a little brake cleaner and cleaned the end of the brush. I'll stick it down in there. And do a test between here and the body of the mag. I should have my five ohms. Yep. So uh, five and a half. So there we go. That should work now. Let's see. If I just clip that ground in there just to hold it. Can I do this? Let me jerry rig this for a second here. Just gonna let my little cap there hold that. I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna put this over on AC voltage. And we'll see if we can. I'm gonna spin it here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going to work. Okay. Okay, I got my gear. Got my little Woodruff key. I'm going to slip the gear on. Now, there's a piece of felt that goes on. It's in the um, it's in the gasket kit over there. I'm going to just slip this together temporarily to test it. Like so. Not even going to put the nut on it. Let me get my tester. Okay, show you what I'm going to do here. This is my little tester I made many years ago. This is a oh, like an ohm meter probe with a piece of uh, copper. I put a little thing here so I can keep it in my pocket. And in the end here, I've got a bi-colored red and green LED in there. And just one lead goes to the pointer. The other lead right there is soldered to this outer housing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to touch this up here to where the wire goes. And I'm going to let the housing of this touch the housing of the uh, magneto. That's like that. I'm going to turn this around so you can look in this tube here. And let me turn it. And you see one is red and one is uh, green. I don't know if that shows up on the camera or not, but anyway, that this thing's working. So we got her. And I'm going to go ahead and probably put this on, torque it, get my seal put on there, get my back plate put on. I can't forget that. And we'll get it on the engine. So I hope you enjoyed this little dive into these uh, magnetos. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. And um, you got to watch when you go in and make sure that your uh, aluminum housings are uh, not cracked up and beginning to rot. And that causes all kinds of problems. But pretty much, as you saw, this uh, these magnetos are pretty simple. And uh, they seem to seem to work pretty good. So, hey, thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, hit the like button and uh, look for me on the next one. And also, I'll put a link down at the bottom of this video for the restoration of the uh, three horse that this is going to go on if you'd like to see that. So <clears throat> nothing fancy. It's just restoring it back to running, cleaning it up, going all through it, making sure it's okay, <clears throat> and repairing anything that needs repaired. So again, thanks for watching. Look for me next time.